everybody, Brexit Pixel today, back in the video, and this is going to be the last video of my Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar and my Lego Marvel Advent Calendar. So it is the 24th at the moment, it's Christmas Eve, I'm going to be going off to, um, I'm to 21 all the way to 24, so only like 4 days, 3 days, so not much, let's go off with the Star Wars one. Like I've been doing before, I'm going to show you each one obviously, build the ones up for the 24th, rate them out of 5, tell you which one's better, and then I'll show you what the dioramas I have set up at the end of the video. Let's go on to 21 of the Star Wars. Okay, so this one, at the end of this, they're kind of, they're going towards a Mandalorian theme. As you can see here, they usually do a thing where they spend about 3 or 4 builds getting ready for some type of thing. So they've got, they've, they had 3 builds for this guy here. Three, two builds for this guy here and the sign, and then f two, three builds for this guy here and the sign. So as you can see, they're kind of leaning towards themes in these, which I really like. Um, and this is uh, another weapon stand for IG-88 and the Mandalorian theme, which is coming up now. So I'll show you that one. I'm going to give this one a four out of five, just because we've got some weapons. And I really like how, how it has a control panel there. That was a 4 out of 5, so let's rate what we got for day 21 of the other one. Ooh, okay, so here we got a micro-scale Tony's weapon rack thing. Um, so this is a pretty cool set. I really like it how it has the mini minifigures, I guess you could call them. Let's just hold it on by some studs. These are the first ones I had. Um, it's a pretty cool colour. Uh, it would be better if they had some printing on it, because I know they did that for the Harry Potter castle. But together, it's a pretty good build. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5, though, um, or a 3 out of 5, and then this one, actually, a 4 out of 5. I don't know if I said 4 out of 5 before, but this one wins. Um, okay, so let's go on to day 22. Day 22 is... Where is it? I can see... Oh, here it is. Right there. So day 22, oh right, yes, okay. So this is going to be an instant win. This is about a million out of five. This is Grogu, Baby Yoda, the child, in his Christmas outfit. They actually made a poster of this guy in the newest advent calendar, in the newest magazine. There was a poster of him and um, Mandalorian and Jarin in their Christmas outfits in a magazine poster. So that's pretty cool. Here he is here. He has this little carriage, so you can you can plop him on here. Um, you can put him on there if you want, because you see in the video he's kind of getting captured. You can put it like that if you want. But I'm going to put him on um, the Mandalorian when we get him. Um, so now let's open up day 22 of the Marvel one. Ooh, okay. So okay. here is four here. I only just recently um, found out that these things, um, also in Captain Marvel, they're actually supposed to be snowballs. I thought they were supposed to be some kind of power charge, but I just realised they were snowballs. But this is a this is a decent figure. There's nothing really exclusive about it. They've just put a scarf on it from I'm I'm pretty sure it was first introduced in the Lego Harry Potter series um two in I think this year. Um but he has two faces, the one when he's complete powered up. Which I don't actually know the reason why, because he's he doesn't really have any other weapons. The, the it's they've kind of downgraded the four figure in the way how they 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 put this in every single set now, and he's kind of he's not worth anything to be honest. His hammer's pretty cool though; it's a classic hammer design that he's had since I think twenty eleven. Um, the L together is a great figure. Um, of course, the Mandalorian one wins, coming in at five out of five. This is a four out of five just because this one's a whole lot better. Um, but yeah. So let's open up day 20, um, 23 for the Star Wars one. So that's just right up here. Oh, okay. So we got a Christmas, um, we have a Christmas cot or transport ship for Baby Yoda or Grogu. Um, this is great. It's coloured red for Christmas. I'm pretty sure it's not red in the rest of it. Um, I'll show you what he looks like in it. So here is Grogu in the actual um, pod. It would be better if they made a bit of a stand like they did for the Pope droid. And just so he could actually be floating. 
Um, it's a bit big for him as it's supposed to be. It'd be better if they made a lid for him as well, so he could be fully emerged like a fully egg, as he is in the movie. Um, put together, it's a pretty solid build. Um, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5, just because of the, um, the way how it goes with the figure from last, yesterday. So opening 22... For the other one, where was that? That was there, so that will be... So I mixed it up a bit, um, so now let's go on to 23 of the Marvel Advent Calendar now. That is... 23... Here it is. Oh, okay, so we got a Christmas tree for today's build. Um, here it is here. This is a really nice Christmas tree. There's a bit of hair there. Um, it's a bit weird how we can see some of the white come through at the bottom. I don't know if that was just a build error from me. Um, and also at the top, you can see some white. Um, this is joined with the next day where we're going to get a bunch of crystals, infinity stones. So we can put them on the tree and they'll kind of be like lights. But at the moment, it's looking a bit bland. I'm going to give this just a 2 out of 5 just because it's not too good. And the pod definitely wins for today. Okay. So now, let's move on to the brand new things that I haven't built yet. So 24 is down here. The last day of the advent calendar. For the Star Wars one, we have the Mandalorian in his Christmas outfit. So I'll build this guy up and I'll show you what he looks Here's like. Here is Christmas, um, Christmas the Mandalorian here. This is a great figure. I really like how he's put the scarf on all together i think they could have done a bit more design as you can see in the grogu he's his torso has a lot more design than just a little scarf has a whole christmas jumper on and he's red so, he, so they could have done a lot more to this figure of course he just has the plain black head which i don't think they're ever going to give him face printing um they have kind of the squashed face um but all together it's a great figure it's a really nice surprise for the last day of the advent calendar. As you can see there, he has his little patterns. Um, so yeah, it's a great figure, really. So let's move on to day 24 of the Star Wars one. There it is. Oh, right, this is a lot different than I thought it would be. All those pieces that we get. We get four of each um, stone, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, I've never actually had one of these before. So let's build it up and I'll show so you. So here is the Infinity Gauntlet here with all the stars, um, with all the Infinity Stones on it. Um, I've tried to do them as well as I think they are in the actual movies. Um, my favourite stone's got to be the Time Stone. It's the, what I think is the most powerful, in my opinion. Um, I don't know how this would actually fit onto a figure. I think it comes with a big fig, so you just take out his arm and put it on the stub, I'm pretty sure. But he can hold some stuff if you were to put him on a big fig. Um, so that's pretty cool. But the main reason is to put all the Infinity Stones on the Christmas tree. Which, to be honest does not add much to it it still looks pretty bad in my opinion um but i've put the the most important stone i don't i think that's the reality one i'm not too sure no it's the one that vision has in his head um but i've put that at the very top um it hasn't really affected the whiteness of it but altogether it's a pretty cool build um looks pretty cool the infinity gauntlet also looks pretty cool i've got to say this one definitely wins with like an a, a 5 out of 5, definitely, and this one's got to be about... I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5, just because of the fact of how you can bring in yesterday's build and put the Infinity Stones on it, and how it was pretty fun. The only problem was, these were very hard to get out of the little moulds. Um, but I am grateful how you got, like, 4 spares, or... Well, if you didn't want to put them on the Christmas tree, you would have 3 spares. Um... But altogether, it's a pretty cool advent calendar. I'll show you what they're, what I've done with them. So here's what I've done with the marble one. I've got the two planes here, the Christmas tree, um, all of the figures that we've got, and then the, the giving each other presents. And then Nick Fury there, and then his table and the barbecue, 
and then Hulk stocking, which you didn't actually get a Hulk figure, so I just stuck him there. Um, there's some, there's the two little builds. I wish we got more of the builds. And then here's just some zoomed out things in the snowman. And for the Star Wars one, I've put all my vehicles here. Um, the two people shooting at the targets with the Pope Joy, like, judging them. Um, the, the, um, the, what do you call, Scout Trooper and his stand. And then the four Mandalorian builds just chilling out here. So I hope you all enjoyed all these videos of the advent calendar. I really enjoyed making them. Can't wait for next year's advent calendar. But make sure you like, subscribe and share if you want to down below. Um, but that's all from me. Bye bye guys. Spiritual Pixel out. Peace.